Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Alienware laptop. This is an Alienware 17 R5 and this one exactly it's the Intel version with an GTX 1060 and in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up, how you can add, remove and what are the max RAM capacity for this laptop. All right, we do get lots of questions people asking me how can I upgrade the RAM, it's really simple and I'll leave a link how you can check the maximum RAM capacity for your laptop in the video description so you can check that one. All right, so before we start, you wanna power off the laptop. You don't need to back up files or anything like that. Everything is just pretty much plug and play. So back up your files, I mean, turn off your computer, power it down, and then you wanna flip it upside down. Oh, these are really heavy laptops. These are not laptops, they're workstation pretty much. I'm gonna grab one sheet of the workshop top. So I don't scratch, even my table is clean. These are the heaviest laptops I ever came across. All right, we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna see one big service cover right in here with a dust mesh, nice ventilation, everything like that. All right, we're gonna go over the screwdriver set that we're gonna be using, I fix the screwdriver set. We are gonna use a Phillips number one. And if you don't have an opening tool, if you get the Pro set, they will give you opening tools and stuff like that some tweezers, if not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a metallic guitar pick. These are really good to opening cases and covers. We do two on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, down here, we're gonna remove all the screws except the screw on the mid back. You're gonna leave this for the last and I'll explain you why. Remove all the screws on the sides all the way, three on this side and three on the right side. Remove all of them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mix, mixing them, it's matching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you found my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports the channel. All right. Now that we removed all the screws there, so they're all the same size. Keep them in one pile. Now, this is screw at the back. This one has a, something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw coming out entirely. And it has another purpose. And the second purpose is to separate the case from the uh, the cover. So if I start rotating this one, you're gonna see the C-Log is pushing and it's pushing the case away just a little bit. It just, I see a little separation right there. Once you have the separation, you wanna stop rotating. And now we're gonna stick the guitar pick right in there and we are gonna work ourselves around. We're gonna hit that big click on the right side. We're gonna work around to the far right and keep twisting it like this. And you want to hear those click sounds all the way to the right, top, and go to the left side. Don't go on the, you don't want to do the front end. You want to go to the side. You want to hear those big click sounds. All right, once you do that back on the side, all you want to do, you want to grab it, bring it up like a, from this side up, 45 degree, and push it forward because then you can release the clips in here. These are the hooks that they go right in the front. If that's why you don't want to lift it, otherwise you want to break the hooks. The hooks on the sides, those are the clips that can get loosened. All right, take, this is the bottom cover. And right away, you can see the rams right in here, visible. These are a DDR4 rams. You can put a 16 gig and 16 gig to have a, four, a 32 gig max capacity on these ones with no problem. Uh, some people have told me like they went to a task manager, it shows that they have four slot RAM. It's not true, there's only two slot RAM, even the Windows. I guess the Windows uh, software with the motherboard, they're not working well together. They're not they're giving false information, but physically there's a two RAM DIMMs available to upgrade and you can put a 16 gig and 16 gig. If yours comes with a eight gig, you can keep that eight gig and uh, add an additional 16 gig. That will work too and with no problem, or you can have preferably two 16 gigs. To remove the RAM or upgrade them, you don't need to disconnect the battery at all, it's not necessary. Even in here it says, uh, please uh, uh, remove the battery first, but you don't need to if you wanna upgrade this one, but if you wanna do anything else, sure, go ahead and disconnect the battery. To disconnect it, you wanna pull this jack backward, and that's how it gets disconnected, but if not, just push it back in, leave it there, to remove the battery, you want to put your fingers on these triggers. My fingers are really thick, so 
you want to push this trigger to the right this trigger to the right and the uh, ram will come in 45 degree angle just like that and then you want to grab it in 45 you don't want to yank it towards the ceiling otherwise it's not going to come and it can break the ram or the dim you want to slide it in the same direction toward yourself and that's how you can remove the ram and you're going to see that there's a notch right on the dim right over there and there's a notch right on the ram if you want to put the ram back in you have to make sure the notch aligns right with the cut right there so if i do it this way around it's not going to go through because the notch is not matching so you want to make sure the notch is matching and you want to grab it in 45 degree angle you want to slide it in a 45 degree all the way inside the jack push a little bit that all the way goes in and then you want to push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these triggers open and close automatically there you go it makes a nice soft click sound same thing with the other one move them around it pops out in 45 degree angle and in the same 45 degree angle you want to pull it out make sure the notch is matching grab it bring it out. it doesn't matter if your ram is double-sided chip or single-sided chip that makes no difference as long as the cut is matching the dim put it in all the press it all the way in sometimes it makes a little click when you push it in and then you want to push it towards the motherboard and there we go now if you have an 8 gig in here and you add a 16 gig and you power on after 5 to 10 seconds or 15 seconds you don't get anything on the screen don't worry about it you want to power off and then you want to come back and switch the ram place i put the 16 gig on here and the 8 gig on the other side you switch the places flip them over and then power it on with 5 to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check and after that everything will be just fine all right once you're done with that or you want to grab the bottom cover you want to put in 45 degree angle the front end slide in 45 degree angle inside the case so the hooks gets installed and then push the side press on the side make sure it does nice big click sounds on the back corners you don't want to push in here yet just to the side corners any gap opening just pinch them and you want to start screwing the mid back so it will pull the cover to itself and there you go and then you want to let it help and if there's any more gap openings and it will just go to itself and this is how you can upgrade the ram for your alienware 17 r5 i, I hope this video helped you guys to do your own upgrade if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws let me just